Your time to shine, little guy. Excellent work, little guy. Ugh. I'm not sticking my arm in there. Who knows what the witch has put in it? It's really shiny now. I think it worked. Well, for my sake, I hope it did. Guess I might have to find out soon enough. The amulet has been formed. My words have been heeded. You've done well, dear Anna, and you've indeed succeeded. Are you going to be okay down here? I wish I didn't have to leave you. Please. Worry not for me, for this is my home. I'm worried for you out there, all alone. I'll be alright. I have to be. I have to. For Grandpa. Then why not? Go forth and continue your quest. I wish you good luck and all of the best. Thank you again, Mirror. I won't forget you. Alright. Time to tell Ben and get out of this place. Okay, that's everything, Ben. I have it all prepared now. Ben? What's wrong? Ben? Wait, what happened to the hole? And the handkerchiefs? <gasps> no! It... it can't be. Evening, Anna. But... how did you... Quite the fun-filled evening you've had yourself here, hmm? I think it's about time we put an end to all this nonsense, though. Don't you? No. I've come so close. I'm not quitting now. I have to escape. Escape? <laughs> Foolish child. Do you have any idea how long I've planned for this? Did you really think you would escape me? did, actually. I was just about to as well. Oh, I see. The hole in the roof, was it? Yes. I've dealt with that little oversight. My spell has put a stop to anyone getting through there now. No. I'm really growing tired of this charade. It's time to put an end to this. Ah! Then? Uh, no, not then. You wretched you deceive me? You leave him alone. Haven't you done enough already? Oh, I've had enough of this. Of both of you. <gasps> I'm going to enjoy this. Well, hold still, children. This will only take a moment. Oh, spirits of the dead. Oh, goons of misfortune. Anna, I'm scared. It's okay, Ben. You don't have to worry. Rise from thy slumber. Disable those impugned. I'm here, Ben. I'll protect us. That's it. I just have to wait for the right moment to try.
And so, with the witch's plan thwarted, the girl and the bear finally made their escape. Running deep into the woods, her goal now in sight, Anna knew just the place they would need to seek next. The town of Wunderhorn, as the mirror described, lay in wait for the pair to make their arrival. But the journey would be long. The quest had just begun, and their run-in with evil would not be their last. Oh. Hold on, Anna. Oh, Ben, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Just, just a, a quick rest is all. I have a good feeling about this path. I feel like Lundahorn's close now. I'm starting to sense a kind of energy. Oh, wow. Maybe... Maybe it's the wizard. Maybe? It feels like it's getting closer, though. Like it's... right around the corner. Ah! Oh, my. We're all a little nervy here, aren't we? Hmm? You... you can talk? Um... Anna? Is he the wizard? Hmm, no strange bear fellow. A wizard I am not, but I must confess, I couldn't help but pry on your recent conversation. In this town, Wunderhorn, I believe I could be of some assistance. I wonder if a kind of arrangement isn't too much to ask, my dear? Oh, of course. If I can help, then I'd be happy to. Excellent. And please do call me Reynard. Pleased to meet you, Reynard. I am Anna, and this is my friend Ben. Well, dear Anna, you see I am quite famished. And these words you see, they are scarce on rations for a creature such as myself. Oh, uh, oh. Oh, come now, bear fellow. What do you take me for? A savage. I simply require fruit from the tree, which my limbs are a little ill-equipped to retrieve. Now, if you could be a deer, Thank mm -hmm. you.